Rock the Boat is a song by American trio The Hughes Corporation, written by Wally Holmes. Rock the Boat was first featured on their 1973 debut studio album Freedom for the Stallion. It was released as the third single from the album in early 1974, to follow up Stallion's title song, which had peaked at number 63 on the Hot 100, and Miracle Maker which did not chart. Initially, Rock the Boat appeared as though it would also flop, as months went by without any radio airplay or sales activity. Not until the song became a disco favorite in New York did Top 40 Radio finally pick up on the song, leading the record to finally enter the Hot 100 and zip up the chart to number 1 the week of July 6, 1974, in only its seventh week on the chart. The record also reached the top 10 in the United Kingdom. Rock the Boat is considered one of the earliest disco songs. Some authorities proclaim it to be the first disco song to hit number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart while others give that distinction to Love's theme by Love Unlimited Orchestra, a chart topper from earlier in 1974. The song became a gold record. It is a heavy airplay favorite on oldie and adult contemporary stations today. Holmes wrote the song for the band's first album, and started the song with the line ever since our voyage of love began. In an attempt to make it more punchy, producer John Flores suggested starting with the line so I'd like to know where you got the notion. The song features a lead vocal by Fleming Williams, who left the Hughes Corporation shortly after the song was recorded. According to the Billboard Book of Number One Hits by Fred Bronson, the lone female member of the group, H. Ann Kelly, had originally been pegged to sing lead. But this idea was discarded out of fear that groups with female lead singers were less commercially viable. The bass player on the session was Wilton Felder, not James Jamerson as sometimes reported. Flores also brought in two other members of the Jazz Crusaders, Joe Sample on piano and Larry Carlton on guitar, as well as Jim Gordon on drums. Wally Holmes wrote and played the trumpet line. Producer John Flores did not like the lyrics for Rock the Boat, calling them trite, and it was originally made a B-side. After a riveting response from New York City's dance clubs, Flores remixed the song to boost the bass and rhythm instruments, and it was quickly re-released, becoming a smash. The Hughes Corporation member street. Claire Lee claims it was a song that you could do anything on. You could cuddle or you could get crazy if you wanted to. It was a love song without being a love song. But, it was a disco hit and it happened because of the discos. The song features a change in meter during the pre-chorus We've been sailing with a cargo full of love and devotion where it is 7-4 for one measure while the rest of the song is in common time. A dance to rock the boat is commonly performed at weddings and birthday parties, involving many people sitting down in a row and rowing a boat to the tune of the song. Particularly popular in Ireland, the dance attracted international attention after being featured on the second season of the TV series Dairy Girls. A similar dance is done in parts of the United Kingdom to Oops Upside Your Head. Rock the Boat was covered in 1982 by the Dutch-slash-American singer Forrest Thomas. His version also made the UK Top 5, and the Top 10 of the American Dance-slash-Disco chart. It also peaked at number 33 in Australia. Richard Finch of KC and the Sunshine Band has said that Rock the Boat played a partial role in inspiring the hit Rock Your Baby. Thanks for watching.